What it do, everybody? Hi. First of all, um, I took my allergy pill too late. All right? So I'm hustling backwards with these allergies. The fool. Second of all, as you can just about hear, um, I'm in the car still because it's raining outside. Something terrible. And I don't even know if I got an umbrella or none here. But anyway, uh, I'm about to get the kind of run, and you don't need to see me do that. Run to the front. But I'm, I'm at a, a 12 plus 1, 13, where I'm at. Restaurant, 13, in Houston. Uh, now, I do know at one point Tobias Dorsen was the chef at 13. He actually helped open it, but Tobias has since left, and he's someplace else. And then one of my other buddies showed up yesterday, um, and he uh, tagged the place. I asked him on Instagram how it was. He was like, they still got some work to do. So that's all I know, all right? I know it was revamped. It was changed over, da 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 da, -da The menu changed. We finna go find out. I'm here at 5 o'clock before the crowd get here so I can run through the menu and let you know exactly what I think. So come on, y'all. Let's go and check out 13. All right, come on, y'all. Gold statue on the inside. What he said. Okay. Child, this weather is horrific. I ain't going to be able to get no B-roll for you. At least not outside. Okay. Child, tropical storm. She here. It's a fool. Jesus Christ. Okay, come on, y'all. I should have bought a sweater. It's a little chilly, I bet. Oh, nobody's here. They call me. Oh, and it's dark. Oh, I feel like I've seen these little things. Think this is what Tobias had in his house? This thing. All right, I wonder what the significance is of, of this. I don't know. Is there anybody working? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. How are you? Fantastic. How are you? You're doing wonderful. Can't complain at all. I have a reservation. Okay. What's first last name? First name Darius, last name Williams. All right, Mr. Williams. Get you taken care of. Sorry, we weren't here at the front for you. Sorry. All right, you still expecting one more? Just, just me. Just you? Just me. At all. Did you want to sit at the table still? Would you prefer bar top? Uh, table. Table, you got it. Absolutely. Get you situated here. You got first guest of the night. Cool. Is this table okay for you? Just perfect. I'm gonna go on the other side. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. Right, Server Mariah should be with you. Just Mariah, a got it. All right. Well, we made it in here. Oh, I don't have a menu. I was gonna read the menu, but there's not one here, though. So. I guess we'll wait till the menu comes. Hold the line. I'll be right. <laughs> Hold the line. I'll be right back. But here she comes. Hello. Thank you. My name is Aubriana. This is Hi. She's training with me. Oh, congrats on the new job. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have you met Daisy before? First time. First time? Yep. Oh, welcome, welcome. So we are more like a Japanese fire menu, kind of like a Pan American twist, too. We just changed the menu up a little bit. And we have like sushi like options, like our salmon poke bowl. We also have a matcha ceviche. We have like dumpling varieties, like our lobster. So it's more Asian inspired. What was it yes. before? What was it before? So it's kind of more like Southern Comfort. Southern Comfort. Yes. What's, what was the reason for the change? Just curious. So we just got a new chef and they wanted to go like a different direction. Tobias Love. Yeah. Got it. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll so, peruse the menu. This is going to be our cocktail. I'm oh, sorry, it's going to be our cocktail menu right here. Okay, cool. Do you know what you usually like when it comes to food? Are you more like a sushi person? So I'm, don't worry, this is for YouTube. I'm okay. gonna go through a whole bunch of shit. I got a whole list of okay. things I'm gonna go through. So we good. Okay, cool. Did you wanna do like some water start up here? We have still, we have frosting. Still's water. fine, but I'm gonna probably get a cocktail, I'm sure. Okay. Yep. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay, so a couple things to note. Um, things I know about. So Tobias was here. Tobias Dorzen, he's um, over at, he owns two of his own restaurants now. Hunter House, he just opened up 1123 Experience in High, I think it's Hyattsville, Maryland, and he was the chef here. Um, but he's got a lot to prove, you know, Tobias does, or he had a lot to prove, so he had to go, he won a bunch of competitions on like Food Network, 
opened up his restaurant. I gave him five out of five when I went. So he was here and helped open up this spot before leaving. And so obviously the head chef leaves, so does the menu change. But this is also what I be telling y'all about the differences between when you own a restaurant and you are the chef, or when you own the restaurant, you have to hire a chef. You know what I'm saying? So while the place is cute, it's beautiful. Let's see what the menu's hitting on. All right, so they have a yuzu lemon drop, cute. Oh, everything's gonna be expensive. So you're not coming in here for the one meat and two sides situation, just FYI, all right? Lemon drop, they have a plus one, which is vanilla and black raspberry. Turks and Caicos, a candied orange car, a Palo Santo Old Fashioned, a Akari Nashi, which is kettle one peach orange blossom with prickly pear cactus and sparkling wine. You know, I'm loving this so far. I, I really do hope that the, the menu, the food and the taste lines up, you know what I mean? Mezcal me please, Kyoto Kiss, which is a bright, bright and light, juicy strawberry rose vodka with candied lychee. Uh, Mezcal me please is tropical escapism. Uh, Blanco tequila, mezcal, a lot of tequila stuff. The male lady, which is made with Hennessy and coffee, and a sangria. So I think the you let's I mean the yuzu lemon drop. It has candy lemon, uh, reposado, and Vulcan reposado. Is that tequila or vodka? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Have I before? Let me see. Vulcan Reposado. Yeah, it's, Reposado is tequila. That sounds like, but it's a lemon drop. Okay, so it's a lemon drop made with tequila. Maybe not lemon drop martini made with the vodka, okay? Because I'm like, is there a vodka that's Reposado? Absolutely not, but it is what it is, okay? So that is what we'll do on Le Cocktail. They got a full wine list, looks good. Champagnes, full bottles. It's very expensive though. $1,500, $1,000, $625. So clearly it's for, you know, five-star prices. With these black forks and black knives, five-star prices, okay? All right, cold plates. Let's go down this menu. Spi spicy tuna, hamachi ceviche, half dozen oysters, salmon poke, Sushi plate and avocado salad. None of that looks delicious to me. None of it, except for maybe the avocado salad. It's red leaf lettuce, seaweed, cucumbers, carrots, avocado, pickled onions, and a sesame dressing. Do you do any lemon or lime? No, I'm good. Okay. And then I'm gonna do uh, a yuzu lemon drop. Yuzu lemon drop? Yep. Did you want like a rim around it or are you okay? Um, as, however it comes. However it comes, yep. Perfect, thank you. I'll put your water right here. Appreciate it. Okay, uh, hot plates. They have a Wagyu beef dumpling. Oh, the prices, Jesus Christ. I didn't see the price. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. If I look stuffy and whatnot, it's my allergies. Uh, if you wait too long to take the allergy medicine, you're hustling backwards and I'm hustling backwards. Okay, Wagyu beef dumplings. Oh, it's cash. Wagyu caramelized onions, aged cheddar cheese, and truffle aioli. It's $36, and I wonder why do you put truffle, cheddar, and Wagyu together? We'll see. Lobster and prawn dumplings, uh, hot fried shrimp, vegetable dumplings, chicken bao buns, fried chicken bao buns, cucumber, honey mustard. See, you should have did like a Hennessy hot sauce, right? 13 wings, fried wings, jerk sauce, jerk seasoning, pico. Chicken yakitori skewers with a fermented bean glaze, lime and white sesame, and a Japanese steak flatbread. They've got rice bowls, which are teriyaki salmon and a vegetable. On composed plates, there's a lobster and salmon, which is $52. It's caviar with black rice. There's a herb crusted lamb chop. There's a Chilean sea bass and dandan dan noodles. They've got grilled steaks, filet mignon, Wagyu strip and a bone and ribeye. And on side, spicy cucumbers, shishito peppers, truffle shoestring fries with umami ketchup, mashed potatoes, seafood fried rice, Brussels, broccolini, and a Japanese steamed rice. The cheesecake is the, or the dessert, cheesecake, taiyaki, lime pie, and 
Hokkaido milk bread pudding. So it's Japanese now. There's no more Southern inspiration at all, which could be okay. I wonder how people take the transition though. Cause I remember this used to be like a turn up spot on the weekend, like people coming for brunch and stuff and they turns up. The girls is not turning up to them, right? Like it's a specific clientele, I guess. And it's not the brunch turn up crowd, bottomless mimosas. Not when the cheapest cocktail is $18. And they have a, a candied orange sidecar made with Hennessy XO for $100 per cocktail. They bang. It's, it's gonna have to be amazing. It's gonna have to be. And this is my, my struggle is like, it's five o'clock, ain't nobody in here. I'm the only one, the only one. Let's place an order. Um, the Wagyu beef dumplings, um, that truffle aioli, where is it placed? Is it on the side? So it's gonna be placed on top of each dumpling. Can I have it on the side? I'm, I hate truffle. Um, let's try the lobster and prawn dumplings as well. The hot fried shrimp. And the bao buns on composed plates. None of that looks interesting. <laughs> Salmon. Yeah, I'm gonna pass up on all that. Um, but I do want to try the spicy cucumber, the seafood fried rice with no egg, please. Yeah. Yep. You said no egg, right? No egg. Yeah. All the seafood, like the crab, the shrimp, all that in there. Yeah, please. Yep. And then, why don't I try the Dan Dan noodles? Okay, did you want to add a protein to it? Did you want to be vegetarian? Let's keep it vegetarian. Okay. And then uh, put an onsen egg on top. It's kind of like a Japanese poached egg. Is that okay? No, it's not okay. No? Yeah, no egg, no truffle. I'm you sorry. Have, like, an allergy with no, I just don't like eggs. Do you have like any allergies at all? No. No. Okay. Nope. Um, does the Dan Dan noodles? Are they coming with these ramen noodles, chili sauce, white cheddar? All, okay, that should be good. Okay, cool. We'll go with that. Yep. So we'll the spicy cucumbers, the seafood fried rice, no egg, and the don, don, no egg as well. Yep. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. All right. There you go. Um, I mean, they, there's some other stuff on the menu that we could have, but you know what lobster tastes like. You know what scallops taste like. You know, you're familiar with all that. Okay. Okay. This is lemon boba that they put right on top. This is cute. This is cute. All right. If this is $18, now I see why. Let me, before I dig into this, let me make sure there's no egg in this. The top of this is very frothy for this not to be egg. I'm not, sorry, y'all. It's a lemon drop, yuzu lemon drop. It did not say egg white on, and the other thing about it is um, lemon drops normally don't have egg white, normally sours, right? Which is why I was like, got vodka instead. So, so let's get this switched out. So Can you do me a favor? I don't know. Are there egg whites in this? No egg whites. No, no egg whites. No, we use, uh, it's called a Miracle Foamer, Mrs. Better Miracle Foamer, so it's 100% vegan. No cool. Okay, whites. cool, cool, cool. Perfect. Thank you. you got it? Yep. Got it. Thanks. My All right, there we go. So it's not egg white. You know, I will say that they're knowledgeable here, they know stuff. The bubble's good. The boba's are really good. I was nervous. I was nervous, right? So here's the deal. It starts citrusy, it finishes strong. Like a warming as it goes down. It's loaded with liquor. It's delicious. As it stands, I was a little nervous, child. I was sitting up here like, I hope this not beautiful gowns and an Instagram restaurant. I don't know, right? We've done this before, but we always thought out real good. And then somewhere along the line, things kind of take a left turn. So let's hope things stay as delicious 
That's this Yuzu Martini, child. Let's see what's next. No issues. And the, can I, is it possible to get more of the um, pearls? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah they're, they're delicious. Yeah, they're delicious. They're Thank like you. Little, uh, lemon boba. They're little lemon They're beautiful. Lemon caviar. They're beautiful. I have um, two cold water lobster tails over a bed of fried rice. It's not going to have any meat in the fried rice. Uh -huh. We also have a wagyu steak we're adding. I mean, not wagyu, but um, what is it called? The, um, the tomahawk. I'm so sorry. It's going to be a 32 ounce tomahawk steak. It's going to be um, just a little bit of charlie leaf on the side and some heirloom carrots. And then it's going to be so we don't have a menu yet. That's fine. I'm just, I'm, I'm good. How much is it? I'm just curious. Oh, how much is it? Yeah. So the um, tomahawk is going to be 148. Yep. And then the two lobster tails and the fried rice is going to be, I want to say 78 or 70, somewhere in there. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I'm good. I got plenty to go around. Okay. Thank you. You're All right. I did that for y'all. Bro, two lobster tails over fried rice for $78. Did that girl just say a tomahawk steak for 148? I mean, that's what it costs. You know, when you go out, that's what stuff costs. You know, it's pricey, but. Put your couple spoonfuls in there. Appreciate it. Thank My you. My pleasure, absolutely. You know, it's pricey, but I don't really know. This good, though. I need to, I'm going to start making me some my own boba. Lemon caviar, it's delicious. Boba and, no, um, pop, you know, the popping bubbles like this and the boba. The boba is like chewy. I typically don't like it. It's kind of muddy tasting to me, but this ain't, this ain't too bad, though. Thank you. You're welcome. Since you did get a good amount of food, I'm going to go ahead and combine these two. That way we have room for everything. Cool. And I'm not eating it all. I'm taking literally a bite. Okay. And I'll ask you to pack it up. Sounds yeah. Good. How's your day been? So far, how's yours? It's been okay. You good. Know, it was the 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 storm and stuff. Yes, but we made it, so it's okay. There you go. When did you guys reopen? We reopened in January. In January, how's it been since you reopened? It's been pretty good. Um, we did expect a little bit more of an influx of customers than we're getting right now, but it's kind of picking up. Good, like good, 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 good. And then we just added brunch, so we've been in like. A Cause you you had a brunch before though, right? Yeah. Cool. Perfect. Thank you. You're You're good. There you go. A little history about the place. I drove past here one time. Where was I going? I drove past here going to, uh, I think I was going to taste or something one day. So I don't know, you know, driving down. You know, it's a popular street or something. You got the expressway on 45 or 10. Or, girl, what is Houston expressway? 288, girl, something, I don't know. Girl, I'm so many people around that front door. I said, what are they doing? I have no idea, but this is, it's a cute, it's cute in here, I'm not gonna lie. It's the aesthetic, is, the aesthetic in here is cute. It's very nice. She said, you remember she said, she said, I was expecting more customers. Yeah, girl, them prices. But it's Houston. And not for nothing. I mean, unless it's absolutely outstanding, and I'll let you know in a minute, but. I don't know about paying what kind of prices. And with as cute as this place is, with the forks and the knives all black, they gave me wooden chopsticks. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. I'm still gonna use them because I know how to use chopsticks, deal with it. So we'll see. This time for real. Y'all hold the line. I'll be back when the food get here. I mean, when you watch this, it's gonna be like that, you see what I'm saying? But I gotta edit it and I know it's gonna take a while. All right, I'll be back. Perfect. Lovely. Your Yeah, it is, yeah, perfect, thank you. All right. So yeah, it gives. I was about to tear them up but it gives. And presentation, I don't know how it tastes, but let me show you. All right, this is the cucumber salad. And honestly, I ain't gonna lie to you. I forgot what she said what this was. I think this is the shrimp. We'll find out in a second. 
Okay, we'll find out in a second if this is the shrimp. But the problem is, I've been to order this stuff so long ago, I forgot what it was. Okay, I'm like, is this intentional? It's like, this is the cucumber. Maybe it's intentional, girl, I don't know. Maybe it's something you do with, um, at the Sybaris, child, with a friend. Okay. Feel the warmth and luxury that you deserve. I don't know, maybe you do this. But girl, she's hard to cut, let me see. It's all right. One bite, it's all right. It is not one of the best ones I've had ever. Cucumber's fresh, great. It's spicy, yeah. I get nothing else. Cold cucumber and spicy hit. I don't get sesame, I don't get garlic, I don't get white pepper, I don't get mirin, I don't get soy. None of it. Let me try another, from another side. Let me see. Maybe it's over here. You know, because she was the way she was holding it, maybe it leaned to one side as she was walking. You know, gravity got a hold of it or something. Oh, these cucumbers are not marinated. That's why. They just cut and put the stuff on here. You got to marinate these, girl. This had to be done this morning. Yeah, no. Here's the thing. If you're gonna put this on the menu, it has to be one of the best things I've ever had. And it's so simple to do a cucumber, but they did it wrong. It's like a one out of five. I get nothing but cucumber and spice. Nothing in the middle, nothing between, nothing marinated, just a bunch of raw vegetables, I guess. Now, I might steal this idea. These are carrots they put on top. Hold on, some more food coming. Let me show y'all. Perfect. Lovely. Perfect. Truffle aioli on the side. Perfect. So far, so good. Perfect, thank you. All right, um, as I was saying about these carrot chips, this is a cute idea as a garnish. Consider this one stolen. Two string carrots. Cute. Hip hop soul. <laughs> They're gonna be, okay, yeah, this is a shrimp. There's lime in here. I guess a squeeze, I guess, I don't know. I'm blown away. I ain't blown away. Shrimp fried, all right. Too much breading. Too much to chew through. <laughs> um. <sighs> it's not balanced. I just got a hit of some heat that is unpleasant like offensively hot. You said on the side. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna be the hot chicken with the sriracha on the side. Perfect, thank you so much. Okay. Yeah, it's offensively spicy. Like there's spicy mixed in with stuff, garlic and something sweet, but that's so hot and clear my allergies, so okay. Not a fan. Tastes like regular fried shrimp. I don't taste nothing Japanese, nothing 13, 14, 15, or 16, child. I just don't, I mean, 
presentation's cute. But honey, she falls flatter than Taylor Swift's ass, all right? Okay, let's try the Dan Dan noodles. Now, Dan Dan, she's, they say it got cheddar cheese in it. It's like ramen, it's, ramen can be like that. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. It's so hot, don't fall my glasses up. That's how hot this is. There's so much steam, my glasses got fogged up. Let me see, I can't really tell. Everything's spicy. Like, not like a little spice. You see my nose running and it ain't from the allergen. This one's good. It's like a four out of five. A touch spicy. It's actually very, everything's spicy. It's very spicy. If you don't like spice, you're not gonna like that. And I like spice, but girl, she looks spicy for me. Um, the noodles are cooked fine, the sauce is great. There's nothing about this you won't love. This is more like, this is not come out and eat for dinner food. That is like, I got a hangover. I went to the hookah bar last night and got toe up, you know what I'm saying? But it's like a four out of five. If, I think that's the best thing going so far. Umami, noodles are cooked well. Actually, I want another bite. Noodles are cooked well. I don't taste the aged cheddar though, so I could have got a little more of that mixed in with here. And Dan Dan noodles usually come with a little minced meat or something, you know, a little beef, a little pork or something. They could have put that on top of him, but they didn't. Here she come again, child, bugging me. Perfect, thank you. So far, so good. You can wrap all this to go. Okay. All right, the beef dumplings are in front of me. Let me show you what they look like. Okay, the beef dumplings are here. Now she said this was homemade tamari. Girl, she ain't more homemade. She ain't no more homemade than these teeth I got in my mouth. Okay? Baby, she ain't no more homemade than this weight I lost. Okay? Oh, girl, here comes something else. You can set it over there. Sorry. Yeah. This is the secret fried rice. The fried rice. The fried rice. What's on top? It is a whipped garlic butter. Whipped garlic butter. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to try this without the sauce. It's good. Beef is flavorful, seasoned, under salt, so you need, you need the tamari to go with it. Steamed well. I'm not sure I get Wagyu though. You know what I'm saying? This is, she might get some more 80-20 than she does Wagyu, but girl, let them have it. You know how restaurants be like, it's short real. Girl, she be pyros. It's oxtail. Girl, she be pyros. It's braised beef. Yeah, girl, we know. Not bad. All right, let me show you this fried rice with this whipped honey butter on top, she said, or garlic butter. All right, this is the whipped garlic butter on fried rice. It's the garlic butter. I just don't know why I want a mound of garlic butter over my fried rice. Let's see what the fried rice gives. She good, child. She good. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna tell you if it ain't good. She all right. Sweet, salty, rice is done right. I don't know about these little shrimp though, let me see. They divine. They could have did more with the shrimp. I don't see no crab in here, but it's good. It's a five out of five. Balanced. Cook 
cooked well, enough scallion, green peas. It's good. All right, that's a five out of five. I ain't gonna hold you on that. What made that was anointed. Okay, God bless them to make that. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few. I'm gonna make you ruler over many, all right? That fried rice is perfect. She good. Ooh. Let me show you this bow bun. So that's a fried chicken bow bun. One thing I know, should nobody leave here having no, nothing less than 2020 vision. Girl, these carrots on everything. Let me see. How are you? Put it right in the middle. Sambal, tamari. These are a little yuzu yoli that goes on top. Or we put on the Perfect, thank you. How's everything going? Everything good? Good. It's so good, I'm getting full. I'm getting full. What I was gonna say about the chicken is. Look how it's cut, right? Very reminiscent of pork belly, which you normally find pork belly in bao buns. That's cute. It's like a little nod to tradition, you know? Here for it. Okay, bao buns, spicy. So everything here got heat on it. When you come in here, bring you some milk so you can clean your tongue so you don't be so spicy. It's a five out of five. I have no issues with that whatsoever. I want. I want pickled vegetable in it, not just regular vegetable, but it's fine. All right, let me show you. Oh, let me show you the ravioli. Ugh, the ravioli, child. The lobster dumplings. Oh, you know what? Just the tamari. I don't need the. Yeah, I don't need the other sauces. I'm good on it. Thank you. All right, now this is the. Um, it's the shrimp and lobster dumpling. In all fairness, you know, I like to try it by itself first before I dip it. A little shrimp is seasoned good. Yeah, that's good. It desperately is begging for scallion and either bean sprout or water chestnut. Everything's soft. You need a little crunch. You know what I'm saying? Eat that little crunch. It needs scallions added into it. And then they should put the little crunch of like a pickled daikon or a pickled something, a vegetable or something, a water chestnut. A, Bean sprout, it needs something inside to give it a little textural contrast, but still be, you know, flavorful and crunchy. Other than that, it's all right. It's like a three and a half out of five. It's not the worst dumpling you ever have, and guarantee you, she certainly is not the best, but it's a really relatively decent uh, dumpling, so I have no problem with that whatsoever. All right. I think that's all the food we got, y'all. I don't need nothing else coming to this table. Full of iron. Cocktail was cute, food was cute. I can go to bed now. Okay, let's get this check and see what our damage is. Okay. It's gonna be Perfect. You can just take it off the thing. <laughs> Bills in front of me, $230. And 88 cent. Let me show you. All right, there you have it on the bill. It's a little pricing. Here you go. I hear this music. 
not for two hundred and thirty dollars. Girl, you better put on some smooth jazz. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna be paying two hundred something dollars for your meal, we need a, a tenor saxophone playing. Okay, something like that. That's what we need. Okay, last thing I need is this. All right, she's bringing the car back. We can go outside. I'll give you my final thoughts from the core. Thanks, you too. Thanks, ladies. Come on, I'll go outside, give you my thoughts outside, child. 2.30.88. This is why I like coming at five o'clock. You get in, you get the review, you get out. And ain't nobody in here. Let go. Bye, thank you. Card payments and the cash line VIP. Girl, only in Houston, Sean. Only in Houston. Okay, my glasses done fogged up as soon as I walk outside. All right, now that I'm in the car, I can give you my final thoughts. A um, couple things I wanna say about the place. Number one, um, while the aesthetic is gorgeous, it's cute. The prices are way too high for what you're getting. Um, $36 for six dumplings just ain't the bee's knees, girl. That's $6 a dumpling, all right? Girl, you go down there to the, the Chinese people stuff, girl, you get 12 dumplings for like $3.50 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So $36 is kind of pricey for that. The food is definitely overpriced for what you get. In terms of taste-wise, it's okay. It's, it's decent. It's not a bad time taste-wise. Um, my struggle is just, well, they get high marks on creativity, but I tell you my struggle is trying to um, see how the original Instagram crowd that used to come to this spot is going to return for a Japanese inspired meal. Let's just be honest. Most of the girls who come here are looking for bottomless mimosas and chicken and waffles. You know what I'm saying? When you come to this kind of place, you're getting none of that. There is no sign of any of this food being uh, from a black owned establishment. And I'm perfectly okay with that. As a matter of fact, I give them props for that. I just don't know in an area like Houston, how well that's going to connect, especially since this restaurant was a different menu prior than it is now. I just don't see how the girls will be like, I'm ready to come out here and do that. They're, you know, they have to like basically start over again, but whatever, it is what it is. Uh, the portion size is okay. You know, it's Japanese. I just think that, like I said, the prices are too high. Oh, and the service, while it's great, I love what the, the experience, right? You walk in, they greet you, they come check on you. Like the hospitality, whoever trained them and like set that in place, did a fantastic job. Cause you feel, and it's on par with other like really top restaurants and service and things like that. So um, creativity is off the, you know, it's off the scale for me. It's like a five out of five on creativity. Um, Price-wise is where my total overall score go da goes down. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five, just because uh, what I had was good, but it's terribly expensive. I'd never need to come back here again, unless I'm with a group, right? And the group wants to come, but just imagine the prices for a group, right? If you get, you know, an entree, two appetizers, a cocktail, you know, that's 150 bucks per person. Do you know what I mean? So. That's what I got to say, child. It's all right. Come on down here. Check them out. It wasn't a bad time. I wish I would have came when Tobias was here, but, you know, neither here nor there. If you're in the Houston area, specifically downtown, you see it's raining. But uh, come out here and check out 13. And when you get done, my comment section is open. Let me know what you think. Bye, y'all.